I never like the excuse where, well, we're doing it because the feds make us do it. Uh, we hear that way too often. And I always like to think that we can find ways to still make things work somehow within that envelope. Our company definitely has benefited from being a member of OCA. We have our own safety program, but they give us all the help that we need when we originally started it. To supply all the people that are needed for the union benefit plans, they provide people to negotiate a labor agreement, which is very important in our industry, as you know. As a small contractor, it helps us stay on top of issues that we might not be aware of because we don't have the resources for an HR department and whatnot, and so OCA becomes that department for us. We had an issue with some laborers one time, and the OCA stepped in, understood our side, believed in our side, and helped us deal with that issue. One of the things I remember, uh, I was in charge of the operating engineers negotiation. Bill Burgett was uh, also on that committee. We were right up to the wire. In 1984, we were able to negotiate an agreement. We got the ability to move an operator during the day from one piece of equipment to another. Before that, we always had to struggle with an operator that did nothing. They had to stay on their original piece of equipment uh, for the entire day. All this went to reduce the cost for union contractors at work and really helped tremendously in, I think, holding off the union movement in highway work and in underground work. Probably one of the most historic milestones that I've been a part of was a cat tax uh, litigation that the OCA fought on behalf of the contractors. And I kept on sitting there watching the, the dollar amounts and the attorney's fees mount and mount and mount. I'm thinking, my God, you know, the OCA is going to go bankrupt on this thing, fighting this. But when the OCA was finally successful in, in the litigation on, on the cat tax, and, and I actually saw what the benefit was to the contractor, uh, it made me appreciate the fact that we have an association like that that would come out and go to bat for a group of contractors like they did. When we won the commercial activity tax uh, before the state Supreme Court, that assured that that new commercial activity tax that was created by the state on motor fuel was credited to, to highways and bridges, you know, in accordance with our Constitution. OCA was a very strong proponent of getting the most recent state gas tax approved and worked hand in hand with people at ODOT and within the state legislature to get that approved. That's probably one of the major milestones. The fact that the OCA doesn't work for just today and today's fires, but looks into the future and the, and the needs of our membership into the future, uh, just shows that they're a quality organization. One of the things I think is extremely unique about OCA is its ability to bring in people that compete day in and day out together in a room to solve the problems of the industry that will benefit everybody in the room, will benefit the industry, and do it in a professional way. I'd like to say that I would hate to live my life over again without being involved in OCA. It's been the best thing that ever happened to me personally in our company except for my family and my faith. I'm very indebted to OCA for everything that we have accomplished.